Hey y'all, happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day, evening, night, whenever, wherever you're watching the vlog. My name is Dee and on this channel I like to vlog anything and everything about my life. So if you want to be nosy and see what we got going on over here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also click the all button so that way you will be the first to be notified when new vlogs drop. And also make sure you like the content to tell YouTube algorithm that my content is amazing. And also share the content with other people who like lifestyle vlogs like myself. And also make sure to comment down below so that way we can chop it up and discuss some things in the comment section. All right, hey y'all. So what was supposed to happen today was I was supposed to get the kids early and I was supposed to take Tracy and Christian to their annual well appointment, right? So I didn't understand why uh, Angelo had his spelling test for Monday. I thought the teacher was just being nice and giving them an extra week, including the weekend to study. But no, turns out that they are having some state standardized testing today and I'm not able to check them out early because there's no point in me getting Christian and then I have no way of getting Angelo out of school. Um, so yeah, I have to reschedule their appointment. That's not until January. I um, was trying to knock all these appointments out so that way I wouldn't have to do any rip and running back after the holiday. So that's what's going on. I'm just gonna pick them up regular time. Gotta drop Shay off at work. And I'm picking up pizza because I'm just so over it at this point. And then they send me a paper yesterday that Angelo forgot to get me last night for his IEP evaluation. And they want me to come in at eight o'clock in the morning on the 21st. I'm just like, that is literally next week. How am I supposed to rearrange my schedule for work? And you only give me less than a week to get it together so I wrote on there no I won't be able to attend and I need you re to reschedule why she calls me back and says well we have to have this information in by the 6th they don't go back to school until the 8th of January so now I'm forced again to have to reschedule my time to have to do this and then I think on the 12th no, on the 21st is Angelo's doctor's appointment and that's my alarm going on that's at 4 15 so hopefully hopefully we are done by 3 45 because i need to get him to this appointment to be able to talk to his primary care physician about the diagnosis that the psychologist gave or yeah psychologist yes psychologist um so yeah i'm a little perturbed at this point so 3.30, I'm going to do a phone call for the IEP. It's just the same. The only thing that they'll change is if something doesn't need to be looked at anymore. And if something does need to be looked at more and they need to, um, you know, put that on his IEP or whatnot. So I like being there so that way I know what is getting changed and what isn't getting changed. Um, I don't like doing the whole section where it says... Um, I won't be able to attend, but y'all can still go ahead and do the um, appointment. No, I want to know what's going to be on his IEP. So I have to do that. When is the 21st? Next Thursday, 3.30. Then turn around and take him to his doctor's appointment at 4.15. Then have to go to work at 6. So yeah. Oh, still have to do Christmas shopping. That's fun. Um, probably going to do that Sunday. Um, I don't know. We got to go grocery shopping as usual Saturday. I work. So it's a lot. It's a lot. It is literally at this time of the video 10 days before Christmas. And yeah, I'm over it at this point. So yeah, I think what we're going to do next year is we're going to find somewhere to travel. <laughs> and Thanksgiving and Christmas is canceled. Thanksgiving, we are going and eating somewhere Christmas we are going to stay somewhere and do something I don't know because I can't deal with this anymore I'm so sick and tired of having to work on someone else's time um all this week I was sick I'm still sick 
just I feel a lot better uh, Monday um, actually Christian started getting sick over the weekend so he was out of school Monday and Tuesday he went back Wednesday all the way up until today the boys are gonna be in school Monday Tuesday next week because Tracy thought she was gonna be finished with all her testing today but come to find out I think two teachers pushed it back one for Monday and one for Tuesday so hopefully no other teacher pushes their um, testing to Wednesday and Thursday because I don't know why the district made it to where the kids are in school up until next Thursday and Christmas is that following Monday maybe it's because did we have a hurricane scare during the school year I can't remember I could have sworn maybe we did I don't remember oh yes we did yes we did I think that's the makeup for those days so I could have did that next year child when um they supposed to be getting out of school on June something they could have added an additional three or four days Jesus like nobody wants to be in school the week before Christmas doing testing but anywho that's neither here nor there the kids won't be in school Wednesday and Thursday I'm gonna do the the audio for Angelo um and then run him up to the doctor's appointment that same day because I'm completely over school with the kids at this point um luckily Tracy will be a senior next year we got to figure out that situation and then um yeah Angela will be going into the fifth grade once she graduates and then I still I will have time to have to deal with teachers and I don't have to deal with different grading schools um it'll just be strictly elementary that's it so let me go ahead and go it is 1 45 i need to go pick the kids up from school i did a pickup order for pizza hut because they are slowly but surely charging more and more and more for their pizza i usually get the pizza hut big dinner box with the two pizzas and the breadstick and then um boneless wings honey barbecue and that used to be like 20 bucks it's now 26 dollars for a carry out and if you do pick up, then it's going to be 40, maybe $42. And then you got to add tip, even though there's tip already in the uh, delivery. <sighs> but that's neither here nor there. So hopefully um, I'll be able to do some shopping Saturday. Should be slow. Um, it's been slow at work pretty much majority of the week this week. Um, I think people are pretty much going on their holidays or they're not worried about their accounts until the new year which is when everything is going to start picking up and we're probably going to be slammed with a whole bunch of calls and so on and so forth so yeah um let me go ahead and go and I will pick the camera back up when I get back to the house because I no longer have a doctor's appointment for the kids All right, hey y'all, happy Saturday. Um, your girl's not gonna be on camera today because she is in full chill mode. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not looking my best. So you're just gonna get some audio and visual of other stuff besides me, okay? So as you can see, um, but first, let me say this, the kiddos are in the their rooms the girls are in their room the boys are in their room playing um, Roblox Minecraft something like that child um, the boys are the girls they're just probably YouTubing Shay's probably k popping I don't know child but they in their rooms minding their business some okay? kind um, so while they were busy your girl got bored at work because you know I'm at work started wrapping some stuff um the top is the girl's gift the bottom is the boy's gift and then um i just need to get some gift bags to um put the rest of their stuff in especially this basketball right here 
and then if I have any like miscellaneous stuff that are small um, like you can see this is the um, Buzz Lightyear last year I think that's when the movie came out but they have this at Dollar Tree um, but these are like scraps from when I wrapped everything last year and I told y'all this year I am not wrapping no more but if it calls for something to get wrapped like something small or whatever um, I'm just gonna recycle these and go about my day so that's what all this is is just um, scrap wrapping paper so if I have something small I'll use that and child I didn't know I got two of these but yeah there's a hundred and four tags um, so I should be good on these until like not next Christmas but probably the Christmas after that I'll probably shoot maybe not hold on all right back to what I was saying so maybe this should last about five years I don't know it just depends on <laughs> how many presents I plan on giving out because that's literally 208 tags and I still have other tags that um, I want to finish up before I hit these so yeah and then these are just um, extra boxes for gift boxing. So yeah. Um, yeah, your girl has quite a few things that I need to use up before I purchase more stuff. And like I told y'all, I do not plan on doing any more wrapping. Tracy came to me and was like, so you don't want me to wrap anything this year? I'm just like, I don't want to keep spending money and wasting it on wrapping paper when you can get a gift bag and reuse that pretty much every year. Whereas if I do the gift wrapping paper, it's going to look like this and I'm going to be having hell of a lot of um, wrapping paper just sitting around for scraps and I just don't want to have to keep lugging that around if I don't have to you know what I'm saying but so today is Saturday um, I don't know if I'm gonna be out in the streets today because it's real gloomy but it's 68 degrees and it's talking about rain after 5 p.m. I don't get off until after 5 so I'm probably just gonna sit in the house and then Sunday me and Bay is probably going to do another um, shop day for Christmas because we still got um, Christmas stuff to do. And then whatever I don't finish getting, I'll probably do that throughout the week because um, like I told y'all, Twinkie and the boys still have to go to school Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I'm not taking them to school. Um, also update on Angelo's appointment for his IEP um, one of the teachers reached out to me and said that they're available Monday Tuesday and Wednesday at like 3 20 or 3 30 so um, I messaged her and told her that I was down for the Wednesday which frees us up Thursday for Angelo's appointment so I'm not sitting here stressing worrying about if the appointment is going to end so God I got to give God glory and praise because I was just freaking out like come on why is this always happening so yeah so we got a new appointment so I don't have to worry about that and then um what else so yeah I'll just go throughout the week and um see what other stuff I need to get I do need to um get the stuff that Tracy says she wanted um we went to the mall a while ago and she wanted the um the viva what was it ah, i can't think of it but i'll put a picture of it she wants that viva la couture i think that's what it's called and i think they said at that time they had a gift set um deal or you know how they have that you get the lotion you get the travel and then you get the body the um the big body um perfume so yeah hopefully that's still there if not she says she'll be happy with just that fragrance and if she wanted something else um i'll probably take her to get that because we got to pick some things out for her and then um i want to get her something else i'm just not sure yet um, i'm thinking about getting her a record player um because you, your girl is into music honey um she loves music and she we were in home what was it home goods 
I think. And then we seen a vinyl record player and it, it just, she just gravitated it, gravi gravitated towards it. So I'm thinking about getting her one. And um, she's a huge Brent, Brent Fias. I thought that boy's name was Brett, but it's Brent, okay? But um, but I also seen a um, Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album in Target. So I may get that for her as her first album. Um, I don't know what album she wants for Brent, Brent Fias. She could pick that out when, you know, she's wanting to get more albums to collect. Um, so yeah and then the boys um i think they is good on that shay wanted a k-pop group um straight kids stray kids i'm sorry i keep thinking they call themselves straight kids but it's stray kids okay i don't know nothing about no k-pop do not come for me in the comment section okay but that's what she wanted d purchased that for her um so he sh she should be he sh we should be getting that delivered soon um and then she had went to the mall with her friend and she ended up seeing some kind of lightsaber for stray kids so she ended up getting that for herself um she also got her a new laptop i'm so proud of her um of course with the help of d um she was able to get the laptop that she wanted and then some because the one that she wanted it actually was not on sale anymore and it went back up to its original price but he ended up finding her something that was similar to that but a lot better so and the price was right so yes ma'am she got her a new laptop paid in cash boom so she ain't got no payment she ain't got none of that she's just you know made her first big expensive purchase that should last her for the next five to seven years um if she handles it correctly you know what i mean but um yeah man there was a deal on that that we couldn't pass up thanks to d and she ended up picking that up at best buy and i didn't have my camera that day i don't know why i left it but i wanted to get her reaction of her walking out with her um laptop y'all she was so giddy oh my gosh you can tell like she was trying to fight it when she was walking out but it was hilarious but um yeah she got two things for her well she got her um laptop for herself and a lightsaber for herself so we're just waiting on the um the little album for that group that she likes to come in um bay got the boys some things but i still want to get them some stuff like clothes that's that's the type of parent i am that if you need clothes if you need underwear if you need socks that's that's what i'm gonna get you okay i'm, I'm gonna get you something that you're actually going to use okay I'm not gonna spend my money and then it's just sitting in the corner like my cricket is right here <sighs> but she's not in the box she's actually on my own um, dresser but we, we we gonna come back to that okay um so i gotta get them some clothes i gotta get um shay something else and then um i gotta get tracy something else as well so yeah man we're gonna be doing some ripping and running all next week that's gonna be a whole new vlog that's gonna be a uh shopping last minute <laughs> vlog and then um hopefully it's not too busy because i'm gonna go when i get off from work in the afternoon and then um it should not be busy y'all it should not be busy but then again some people um actually take vacays for like two weeks um or the last three weeks of the year so ain't no telling what everybody else's schedule compared to what my schedule is going to be so we're going to see what is going to be shaking and moving um d did not tell me what he wanted so i'm thinking about making like a gift basket for him with some underwear socks i told y'all i'm the queen of underwear socks and um tank tops and all that stuff um the reason why i do that is because one he is very picky about what he wants and i'm not about to be um sitting here having anxiety attacks thinking he ain't gonna like what i get him that's my husband he gonna like what i what i give him but he, he gonna tell me he don't like it and i'm gonna be pissed off because i spent my money on it you know what i'm saying so i just get him what he needs and then if he wants something else then i'll you know go out and get it for him so i knew for father's day he wanted some cologne so i got him some cologne and child he loves that cologne and he is so happy with that so i may go to marshall's and see what they have over there um 
And then since Marshalls is in that area, I'm gonna probably shoot over to Walmart and um, get the boys their undergarments and stuff. And then I'll do that Monday. And then Tuesday, um, I'll take Tracy to go and get her stuff since we'll already be out because that's her last day in school. And then Wednesday I got that meeting so I don't want to be well the kids will be out of school they're not coming to school Wednesday and Thursday we'll figure it out y'all we gonna figure it out I'm gonna sit here and pray on it and we gonna do what we do um so probably tomorrow I won't come back on the vlog maybe I don't know but if I do not thank you so much for watching this week's weekend vlog and I do appreciate each and every last one of you and I will see you on next week's vlog bye All right, hey y'all, happy Sunday. So it is 11.43, hubby and I are on our way out the door because the mall opens at 12. Then we gotta shoot over to Walmart and then we gotta shoot over to Dollar Tree because I am trying to not wrap anything but I think I may have to wrap some things and majority of the stuff will be placed in bags. So yeah. I did half and half this year. I said last year that I wanted to just put stuff in bags and be like here and then just take the um, gift wrapping paper out and then oh my gosh thank you type situation. It doesn't look like it's going to be like that this year. Um, looks like I'm going to have to wrap stuff. So let's go ahead and get all these errands ran. It has been raining nonstop since yesterday. And it keeps saying that it's going to stop raining around 12, but then it's raining again until 2. And then it's like, you know what, I'm not going to keep pushing back me going shopping. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of so that way tomorrow I can finish up shopping, which should just be for hubby. Because I think the kids are all good once we finish today. Because I got to go to the mall to get Tracy her perfume and oh yeah i gotta take her to the mall tuesday for her to get sized up see what her measurements are and then finish up her shopping i'm probably not going to show any of that because yeah that's going to be personal for her um and then shay i think she's good we may get something else for her i don't know we'll figure that out today and then the boys definitely should be good because yeah so let me go ahead and go because i'm running my mouth i will see y'all when we get to our destination
right, y'all. So as you can see, we're back at the house. Um, the people were peopling today because next week is Christmas Eve. So I still have some things that I need to get. Monday, um, I'm going to go back to the mall to Children's Place to pick out some things for the boys. And then Tuesday, um, I'm going to go to Marshall's and get D some stuff. And then we should be done. Oh, I still got to get um, Tracy her stuff. So I'll do that Tuesday as well. We got a lot of things from the places that we went. We went to Dollar Tree, mainly just for the gift wrapping paper and stuff. Walmart and the mall. Um, we went to JCPenney's to get Tracy her perfume. I'm going to show y'all that, what we got. And then um, we went to this one spot. It was a, a sock store. But they sold like plushy teddy bears, I guess you would call it. But they're not teddy bears. They're like something else. I don't know what you would call them. But um, we found something in there for Shay. And then we went to Walmart and I got some stuff there. So let me just show y'all everything that I got. So for JC Penney's, this is what we got. We got the Juicy Couture Mary Must Haves Viva La Juicy. Um, it's the trio Viva La Juicy, uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture, and then Viva La Juicy Sucre. Um, they're all Eau de Parfume sprays. So yeah, this is what. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. I don't know if that's any better, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's like a little book on the inside, and it has all three of the parfums, because that's how you say it, I guess. Parfum. <laughs> so that's for her. And then this is what I got. Shay. I thought this was so cute. She's like a Hello Kitty fan and I thought this was adorable. I know she's gonna love it because it's got the little skirt and whatnot and it's a purse. Oh, this has like a little hole. Oh, I'm gonna have to patch that up. Um, but yeah, it's a little purse and the zipper is here at the top. And then she can put, it goes down pretty deep. So she can put like her little wallet and chapstick and stuff. But yeah, that's what we got for her. She loves keychains. So I told you she loves Hello Kitty. So, bam, there she go. And then it just says Hello Kitty on the little tag. So yeah. And then for Walmart, as we were walking through, I seen these cute sweatpants in like this color. What do you call it? Like army green or something like that. But I thought these were cute. And check it. It has the little pull strings at the bottom of the pants. So if they're too big for them and it like goes over the heel of the shoe, so that way you don't ruin the pants. Um, you can pull the clasp to make it tighter at the ankle. So I got Tracy a small and I got Shay a medium. So we'll see how they look. Hopefully they will fit. It's not too tight. I probably should have got a, a medium for Tracy because she likes, I mean, she likes tight stuff, but she don't like it too tight. So we'll see. So I got that for them. I got some socks for the boys. Angelo loves him some Sonic. And for some reason, the, the medium size socks did not look like they were medium. They looked like they were small. So I found these, they're, ba they're Batman. I don't know if Chris likes Batman, but he gonna wear them. Okay, so I got him medium and Angelo I got a large, yep. 
and then I thought this was cute the gloves he's not gonna be able to fit Angelo but he'll fit the hat so I know he'll like he'll like that and I got them some tanks so just the plain white tank top um, one in the small no one in the medium and one in the large so yeah I told y'all I was gonna get these boys their underwear and their socks and undershirts y'all thought I was probably playing it but no I was dead ass um I hate shopping for underwear because people are so disgusting I'm just gonna say it. people are disgusting and they'll mess everything up it's hard to keep the underwear aisle organized because people don't put stuff back where they find it for one or people want to see how it looks outside of the package so they take one out and then just stuff it back in because they see how it looks and it probably didn't fit their kid so it's like I, I just can't stand people sometimes um so I got size 8 for Sonic for and uh, Christian and then these are just some regular schmegular underwear for um, Angelo size 10 12 so hopefully they'll fit I get my son's boxer briefs they don't wear the tidy whities they don't wear the boxers because it's too loose and the way the pants are made now they're not like how they were made back in the day where you can wear boxers with them and they don't understand that they are too the way boxes are it's real loose right so if you're wearing like skinny jeans or regular cut jeans um on a boy they're not going to know to like tuck in the boxers so i just get them the boxer briefs one it's comfortable to them and two it holds their package in so that way it's just not all willy-nilly all over the place you know what i mean so if you have a boy you know what i'm talking about um but yeah that's pretty much it everything else is like for um putting the stuff in the bags for me to um put under the tree I'm probably not going to do that until thursday night um so we still got packages that we're waiting on um we ordered Tracy's um vinyl record player from amazon um that's not coming until thursday um i think d ordered some toys for the boys um, and we're also waiting on Shay's uh, Stray Kids <laughs> Stray Kids album um, so I think all of that should come um, during this week the only one I know for sure is the um, the vinyl record player because I ordered that um, everything else was ordered by my husband D so we definitely have to get tracking on that so that's all this is i got a bunch of gift stuffing paper and some gift bags and um wrapping paper this one is minions and then this one just says uh from santa so yeah so um and i still have the scraps so the scraps are up here so yeah man um, so let me go ahead and get this organized and put away so that way nobody knows that these are things that need to get wrapped up under the tree. Um, there's only so much space in here before this room literally spontaneously combusts with crap from everything that's being stuffed in here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I don't know what we're cooking for dinner tonight. Babe, over here talking about he don't feel like cooking. So, I'm just like, and I don't feel like cooking either. Like, I literally cook all week. Right before I go to work. Like, you gotta meet me halfway, sir. But, it's all good. Um, we'll figure it out. <sighs> Lord, Father God. We definitely will figure it out. Alright? So, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If so make sure to like share comment down below and if you're new hi welcome i hope you stick around if you are going to stick around definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see y'all next week 
All right. Bye. You guys like this video. Come on, give me up to 200. Like, 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 oh, like, 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 like.